now let's go back from the States, let's cross the, uh, let's jump the Atlantic Ocean for this next song. So what do you think when you hear this? I love You Cannot Imagine This Song. The, this is, is bah. I, I, it's incredible, this song. It put me the best of myself when I, when I listen to this song. You, uh, you know it's the a lyrics masterpiece. And... It's a masterpiece. We sing with the staff every time we go out, and uh, always we sing this song all together. So we love it. And after I was lucky to to know to meet uh, Noel, and uh, I, I like it. I like this song. I like it. And after what happened after in Manchester, you know, with the with the Manchester Arena and the day after, it's, you know, now is a song for the you know the people, you know, when. Uh, that moment is in YouTube, you know, you know, and everybody's in silence and one woman starts to sing the song and everybody sings that is a that is a moment. A moment would be so so touchable for my for my family, for myself. When did you hear about it first? I was at home with my son and my wife and daughters were there. And uh at the end we were lucky, unfortunately for the people who suffer. And we were lucky. So and after well, we went down with my my son. Does somebody call you? Or she you? called me, oh. but immediately broke the line, and uh, he told me something happened. Something happened. We are running, but the people I don't know what happened, and uh, and broke the line and break the, we tried to 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 call her again and it doesn't oh. work. And after we we went to the arena, and and after five minutes six minutes she called me again. We are out. We are out. We're coming back home. But it was, uh, yeah, of course, we were, you know, life is like this. We were in, uh, maybe in a better position than the other ones, unfortunately, for, 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 it's the times we, we live right now, you know, all around the world is happening, many things, Mediterranean, the people are dying, you know, and even the governments in Italy and Spain and in other ways is not allowed to, you know, the, uh, you know, for the people who's help him, you know, to res rescue the people are dying. Uh, and I, I don't know which kind of society we're going to do that. So it's, t it's because it's not about the laws; it's about humanity. The people are dying, and there are the, and a, a heroes to going with their sheep to go in there to rescue these people. And the people in the government no allow them to do that. So which kind of society we're going to live in our kids? Because the guys going to the Mediterranean, they don't want to go to the Mediterranean, but they are war there. They are killing their families, the kids, and and the other ones. So, so why the governments where our taxes we pay all around the world and every person they do it? Why they don't solve that 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 problem? Why they, they have to be a priority, you know, in the and the help for the the poor classes, the middle classes to live better. They have to be focused. For for example, for my for my, I had the the lives. I was lucky enough to to make one job was well pay, not because I am. Uh, better than the other one, so it w was lucky. So the, the people, the government, had to take care of the middle class to avoid that, and they have to solve the problems. And that's why is European community, and they had to speak with the United States of America and speak with the Russia and the, all the big countries to solve these problems. Because at the end, the people, when they're dying at home, the people doesn't want to live where they live. Nobody, but they live because they are dying. They are a big, big war. And they have to solve that because they are coming here because once in England, I don't know, but the Spain it was a war, a civil war. The people go away, you know, go to maybe in England or go to Mexico, go to France or go to Holland or Germany, you know, because of war. It's happened. And they accept us, you know, mm -hmm. my grandfathers or grandfathers or fathers from my grandfather, they accept us. We want to leave, but it was a war. It's happened right now. We, they accept us, why we cannot accept them right now. But of course it's not about everybody come here, no. But they have to do it. They have to try to do it. If, you know, the people is dying and is uh, open arms, go in there to try to help them. And after the people complain to them and they will be judged because something to rescue the people is because we are, we are going really, really bad. It does make you wonder sometimes what kind of society we live in to our, yeah. to our kids. But... Uh, you are in a position where you, you can talk about these things openly and you feel that you can help that way, I imagine. Uh, and uh, you you wonder yourself, why not? Why should I not say these things that I'm thinking? Why not? Exactly. <laughs> why not? Is it a democracy? It looks like you can, you can say that. 
in in Manchester, you were at the uh, uh, arena reopening, and that must have been obviously emotional. But at the same time, uh, from disaster in places like Manchester, good things happen as well. There was a sense of um, community yeah, of uh, at a time where that is not usual. You yeah. sense you sense that, of course. Yeah, but uh, when this kind of thing happen, it shows how are how you know, are the human beings. Mm -hmm. So we, we feel comfortable doing good things and bad things. You know, if you want to help, you, f you feel better. So the people is not, no grow up saying, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to destroy. It's the situations that happen. Of course, the sense of community with this kind of happen show many, the best of us. Mm -hmm. But the problem is the reality, it's truth, and the government was leading, and it doesn't matter what happened to lead. And, and, and that is the problem. When the, you know, to achieve what you want to achieve is always uh, no respect to the other ones. And at the end, sometimes these kind of things happen. Respect, isn't it? It's just yeah. respect. Um, you are being respected, by the way, when you walk the streets of Manchester. There's a yeah. big division here, of course, a tr tribal division. But uh, what kind of reaction do you get from United fans when, they, when you come across them? Quite well. Quite well. It depends. <laughs> you know if we are drunk or not <laughs> no it's, it's it's okay i don't i don't work too much because i own home home work work home sometimes restaurants but really well it's nice so the rivalry is necessary so the chants and the people sing and the good things about things that is normal it's a respect you know no use the violence everything is in this understandable so mm. it's not a problem why not a big house outside uh, Manchester and instead you live in, in the city centre? Always, when I went to Roma, went to Brescia and uh, in by New York, it's easy in Barcelona, always I live in the in the city. Because I don't live alone, I live with my wife and kids, kids are in the school, I go in the, you know, working and my wife uh, away in the landscape, you know, with a house alone there. Be in the city, can go to the cinema, can go, we can go to the cinema, can go to the restaurants, are closed, we can go walking, we don't need the car. It's much more, more comfortable. We, we like to live, you know, in the city, mm -hmm. in, in the middle. I, I like it. Is Manchester how you imagined it? Did you imagine Manchester to be like this? Yes, yeah, quite similar, quite similar. Uh, but the people advised me very, very bad before I came. And when you, you know, you think in your mind, oh, it's going bad, everybody's going bad. Always you, you look better. Oh, they were saying, oh, yeah, yeah, just yeah. Uh, raining all yeah. the time. No, it's not about the rain, the problem right. for me. It's an absence of light. Oh, yes. So the rain is not a problem. So in Munich, it was maybe cooler or uh, than, than here. It's, it's the absence of light. It's, I would like to see the sky with mm -hmm. the clouds. That is what I miss the most. Because do you have cold, you pick jackets, hats, gloves. <laughs> That's it. That's it. But this absence of light, this yeah, fog, that is uh, <laughs> sometimes is a little bit tough. I think it's time for another song.